The remaining miners who've been underground since Sunday at the Gold One Moda East Mine in Springs have now resurfaced. Some of the more than 540 mine workers staged a sitting underground, while others, we understand, were being held against their will. At issue is a dispute over union recognition. Let's talk now to Gold One CEO Jonathan Herricourt. Jonathan, good evening to you and welcome. Just confirm that all of the workers that were underground, either staging a sitting or being held against their will, are now accounted for and above, uh, above the ground. Yeah, that is correct. All all two hundred and uh, all uh, four hundred and sixty three um, employees who were, uh, as you said, either being either sitting in or, or being forced to stay underground have been brought to surface. They have been um, assessed by our medical people. They've been given, um, you know, drink, uh, energy drinks and that sort of thing. Um, four four employees were. Um, Injured, they, they were they were, they had been assaulted. Two of them were were, were brought out on stretchers. Fortunately, nobody um, was in a critical condition, but they have been hospitalised at various hospitals around Springs. Um, the rest of the people were assessed for various minor conditions. Most of them are obviously suffering from um, mainly from hunger and uh, you know stress and. and exhaustion but um everybody is out and everybody has now gone home and um yeah so yeah that part of things fortunately we were able to resolve that and get everybody out safely which was the was the most important thing that needed to happen well quickly take us behind the scenes of, of how you managed to resolve that uh, it seemed as if uh, those who wanted to be there were determined to be there Look, there, there, there was a small group. When, when I call it a small group, the, you know, the numbers vary. And, and obviously, as we go forward, we will get a better understanding of, of, of what exactly the numbers involved were. But, but let's, let's, let's say, to the best of our knowledge, there were plus minus 120-odd people who said they all claimed to be AMCU supporters who were holding the balance of the employees. Um, underground against their will and preventing them from coming up to surface. Um, those, um, all of those people are out. But um, yeah, that that was basically the the numbers involved. And um, uh, some of the people were some of those 120 people were involved directly in super, in overseeing the other people and keeping them in a restricted area. While there were a, a couple of other groups that were basically operating as um, sentries to keep an eye on things to make sure if, if management or police started to try and come underground, they would get um, advance warning of what was happening. And how, how the situation was, was resolved, um, it was not resolved by, by management um, giving in to the demands that were on the table. Um, basically what happened um, this morning it, it, it appears that a group of about 110 odd people who were being held against their will just decided, listen, they have had enough. They um, got together as a group and they started walking out. And when the um, people who were trying to detain them came near them, they basically told them, listen, we are leaving. You can try and stop us, but you're not going to stop all of us um, if we act together. And they basically left the uh, the area and they walked out of the mine. Um, we then sent down some of our employees to go and assess what was going on. They went down the sh main shaft and um, onto the station and not very far away, about um, 80 metres from the station, they could see a large group of people. Um, in front, at the front of the, of the sort of group was a, a, a gang of about 40-odd people with um, with certain kinds of weapons, sticks and that kind of thing, knobkerries. And behind them was a lot of other people who were, you know, difficult to recognise at that distance, but you could see the, 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 the lamps and all that type thing burning. So, so our, our, our members of management approached them. Um, two of the people from, with the, with, you know, with the weapons came towards the man, members of management and, and, they were asked, okay, you know, why aren't you coming out like the rest of the people? They basically said, listen, the only way anyone else or uh, anyone else 
down here is going to come out is if we uh, get a guarantee that that um, AMCU has now been um, selected as the you know the only union on the on the mine. So we then withdrew our people. SA South African Police Services have been um, in control since last night. They said it's it's fine. We don't want to cause any more problems. We've got 107 or 110 yeah. people out. That's already a start. Let's let's sit it out a bit longer and let's wait and see what happens. Then at um, round about 12 o'clock, uh, right, yeah, just after 12 o'clock, I think we got a, a phone call from the from the underground station saying that there were lots and lots of people. Everybody okay. now wants to come out. They want All to right. come out from underground. Some important things, and thank you for uh, that detail. Uh, I really do appreciate that. But j just a couple of quick things we must address. For those who were, as you said, holding others against their will, and it seems as if a minority then was holding the majority of your staff members um, against their will, Are you are, is there a criminal investigation underway? Are you going to pursue charges against them? In fact... Have those people been identified and then arrested? No, there's, there, there have been no arrests made. We, we, it was agreed with the uh, South African Police Services uh, under their recommendation that, that we don't need to do anything right now. We need to get everybody out of the mine. That's the important thing. We need to get everybody safe. And um, then there will be a protest. There will be um, investigations. There will be um, in, you know, interviews with people. And all, all that will take place. But, okay. but bearing in mind the, 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 the sensitivity of the situation, it was decided that there was no, no um, you know, it was not the right time to start talking about yeah. what action needs to be taken, who, who and all that. There, there is a lot of, um, you know, there's a lot of ways of, of identifying who's who and all that kind right. of thing. Jonathan, that very process. quickly, and, and sorry to yeah. jump in there, I know that time is of the essence for you as, you as well, it is for us too. We have done a couple of interviews over the last uh, few days since this all started. Amku, vociferous, uh, convinced and um, adamant that they are the majority union. They say that they have um, these membership forms that they submitted to you as the employer back in March. A series of events happened uh, with them not being verified. They conducted a petition, as was apparently the rule, gone to the CCMA and so on. We are getting the sense that you as Gold One could have averted this, um, this crisis and these developments if the steps to verify um, the membership of uh, your staffers had happened um, you know, with, with, with fairly quickly. W would you agree to that? What, what's your perspective on that? No, I won't agree to it. Look, 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 we have a recognition agreement with, with the National Union of Mine Workers. It's a very comprehensive document. It, there are sections of it that um, detail um, what, what, needs to take, what needs to happen if, if members of NUM decide that they are no longer happy with um, their representation and, and, and those steps need to be followed and it's a process, um, you know, and that process was never really followed. Um, we ended up in CCMA. The 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 the, um, the commissioner in CCMA advised AMCU that they are proceeding using the wrong um, section of the Labour Relations Act um, because it doesn't apply in this case. She told them that they need to use another section. I'm not a lawyer. I'm a minor, but um, I know you know that to be the case. They refuse to accept her advice and continue to yeah. insist that, that they're going to follow this route. You know the the only and and and, and the ultimate um, end goal of of the process will be to have a uh, an independently um, conducted ballot, which will then tell us you know you know there's so many people who support this union, there's so many people who support that union. Therefore, this is the majority union, or this is the majority union, and 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 that's that's the process. And, okay. And that that but there's a process leading up to that to get into that stage and, and, and we just you know we haven't we haven't been able to follow the the, the legislated steps to get there properly. So um, you know Why not? And, and again because we we get documents with, with so called um, people who support AMCU but when you start verifying these documents, signatures on top are different to signatures on bottom. Names of people don't co 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 coincide with with the num with their with their company numbers on the mine, so there's all all those kind of you know we were unable to va to validate 
those, the, uh, most of those documents. On top of that, when they submitted their petition, they submitted a petition with 142 names on it. When we started l looking at those names, we, we posted those names up on our boards all around the mine because it was a petition so that everyone on the mine could see this, this, is, you know, this process is, is on the go. Within, within a matter of hours, we had a dozen people coming to us saying, but why is my name on this list? I've never said that I want to be an anti-member. Okay. So, yeah. so even that 142 people wasn't a hundred genuine 142 people so, All right. so i think they, we've got they, then uh, jonathan the main uh, you know some yeah. clarity on the main issues of contention thank you for stopping by and just giving us uh, that update